So it's eight o'clock. We'll start morning prayer with some opening sentences. Um, my dad liked this one. He died two years ago today. Okay. Um, this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, we will go into the house of the Lord. On page 79, uh, let's confess our sins. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us sit or kneel in silence with penitent and obedient hearts, confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess by what we have done, and by what, what we, we have, have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, 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 sorry and, and humbly, humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus, your son, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Have mercy, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you, us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. 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 Lord, open our lips. And in our mouths we proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In a couple of sentences here, the earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Who would like to read the Benite? Steve Coggins. Let me bring it up. I don't have it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> How about Pierce? Oh, he's on mute. How about Betty? You have a great voice, Betty. Well, thank you. I'd love to read the Venite. Okay. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Then follows the psalm or psalms appointed. And the psalms today are 131 and 132, starting on page 785 of the prayer book. <clears throat> psalm 131. O oh Lord, I am not proud. I have no haughty looks. I do not occupy myself with great matters. Or with things that are too hard for me. But I still my soul and make it quiet like a child upon its mother's breast. My soul is quieted within me. me. O oh Israel, wait upon the Lord. From this time forth forevermore. In Psalm 132, Lord, remember David. And all the hard hearts he endured. He swore how he swore an oath to the Lord. And vowed and vowed like the Almighty God. I will not come under the roof of my house, 
I will not allow my eyes to sleep. Nor I find a place for the Lord. The ark, we heard it was in Ephrata. We found it in the fields of Jerusalem. Let us go to God's dwelling place. Let us follow on our knees to his footstool. Arise, O Lord, in your resting place. You and the ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your people see the same with joy. For your servant David's sake. Do not, Do not turn, turn away from your anointed. The Lord has sworn an oath to David. In truth, In truth he will not break it. it. A son, the fruit of your body. Will I set that upon your throne? Your throne? If your children keep my covenant and my testimonies, that I shall teach them. Your children will be upon your throne. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He is a her for his habitation. This shall be my resting place forever. You will learn to know and find delight in her. I will surely bless her provisions. And satisfy her with bread. I will clothe her priest with salvation. And her faithful people will rejoice in the city. There will I make the horn of David flourish. I have prepared a lamb for my anointed. As for his enemies, I will clothe, clothe them with shame. And as for him, his Glory to the Father, and now we'll have our readings. The first reading is from the 24th chapter of Acts. Five days later, the high priest Ananias came down with some elders and an attorney, a certain Tertullus, and they reported their case against Paul to the governor. When Paul had been summoned, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, Your Excellency, because of you we have long enjoyed peace, and reforms have been made for this people because of your foresight. We welcome this in every way and everywhere with utmost gratitude. But to detain you no further, I beg you to hear us briefly with your customary graciousness. We have, in fact, found this man a pestilent fellow, an agitator among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. He even tried to profane the temple, and so we seized him. By examining him yourself, you will be able to learn from him concerning everything of which we accuse him. The Jews also joined in the charge by asserting that all this was true. When the governor motioned to him to speak, Paul replied, I cheerfully make my defense knowing that for many years you have been a judge over this nation. As you can find out, it is not more than 12 days since I went up to worship in Jerusalem. They did not find me disputing with anyone in the temple or stirring up a crowd either in the synagogues or throughout the city. Neither can they prove to you the charge that they now bring against me. But this I admit to you, that according to the way which they call a sect, I worship the God of our ancestors believing everything laid down according to the law or written in the prophets. I have a hope in God, a hope that they themselves also accept that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the unrighteous. Therefore, I do my best always to have a clear conscience towards God and all people. Now, after some years, I came to bring al aims to my alms to my nation and to offer sacrifices. While I was doing this, 
they found me in the temple, completing the rite of purification without any crowd or disturbance. But there were some Jews from Asia. They ought to be here before you to make an accusation if they have anything against me. Or let these men here tell what crime they had found when I stood before the council, unless it was this one sentence that I called out while standing before them. It is about the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial before you today. But Felix, who was rather well informed about the way, adjourned the hearing with the comment, when Lysias the tribune comes down, I will decide your case. Then he ordered the centurion to keep him in custody, but to let him have some liberty and not to prevent any of his friends from taking care of his needs. Here endeth the lesson. And I believe here comes music. <laughs> in the Acts of the Apostles, Paul says, I have a hope in God, a hope that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the unrighteous. This song echoes Paul's hope, inspired by the words found in the Hebrew Scriptures in Job 19, Isaiah 25, and Psalm 27. I know that my Redeemer lives. I know that my Redeemer lives, the one who calls me home. I long to see God face to face, my eyes to dare behold. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that I shall one day see the goodness of the Lord, when God will wipe away my tears and death will be no more. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. The last day I shall rise again to feast with God on high. My home shall be by God's own side with Christ our risen Lord. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, and I shall rise again. The second reading comes from Luke chapter seven. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him and he went into the Pharisee's house and took his place at the table. And a woman in the city who was a sinner, having learned that he was eating in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster jar of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears and to dry them with her hair. Then she continued kissing his feet and anointing them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee, who had invited him, saw it, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what kind of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus spoke up and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. Teacher, he replied, speak. A certain creditor who had two debtors, one owed him 500 denarii and the other 50. When they could not pay, he canceled the debts for both of them. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he canceled the greater debt. And Jesus said to him, you have judged rightly. Then turning towards the woman, he said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me new water for my feet, 
but she has bathed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore, I tell you, her sins, which were many, have been forgiven. Hence, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. But those who were at the table with him began to say among themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Here endeth the reading. Next up is the Apostles' Creed on page 92. <laughs> and we'll read it together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Almighty. Creator of everything. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered and was crucified and was crucified and God in the Spirit. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Father. He will come again, come again to judge, to judge the, the living and the dead. dead. I believe I in the believe Holy, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy the Catholic, Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the, and the life, and the life of the everlasting. Amen. Amen. The prayers uh, start on page 97. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. you. Let us pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom thy come, come, thy will, come, 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 thy will be done, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive us our trespasses against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Find us the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Please, O oh Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in a way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. And sustain, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. 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 Here's a call act for the renewal of life. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> o God, holy and eternal God, in you we live and move and have our being. In all our cares and occupations, guide and govern us by your spirit, that we may both remember and reveal your presence through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Trusting in our generous God, we confidently bring our prayers for all people in the church and in the world. Strengthen your church in the service of Christ. We pray for Michael, the presiding bishop, for Rob, our bishop, for Pierce, our interim rector, for Cheryl, for Chris, uh, for Zen and staff, for Rhonda, our 
deacon in the making, wardens and vestry and all who minister in your name, Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. Prayer. direct this in every nation that we may seek the common good for the president, the Congress, governors, mayors, all who are elected and might be elected and for public health officials. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Prayer. comfort and heal those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Strengthen all who are caring for loved ones and all who serve in their vocation as health care workers. Bless scientists and researchers with new wisdom and determination in combating the virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Keep in safety those who travel and those who remain quarantined. Give courage and hope to those who are burdened with fear or anxious hearts. Grant your grace to communities of faith that they and we may serve Christ and one another and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, you know the needs of your church in every place. Look graciously upon the people of St. James Parish and grant us the guidance of your Holy Spirit as we move through the search process for a new rector. Thank you for the faithful stewards you have provided and will provide for our leadership. Thank you for those who have agreed to serve on the search committee and for the ministry of our wardens and vestry. We thank you for the new rector you are preparing to, for, to serve among us, whoever and wherever he or she may be. Give us discernment wisdom, patience, and confidence in your timing. Help us to care for each other with mutual trust, respect, kindness, and clarity of purpose. You are the good shepherd, and we ask you to shepherd us through this journey. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> We now offer prayers for those known to us in our community. After their names are read, I invite you to share your own prayers aloud, or you may list them in the chat column. And Cheryl, I believe you have our folks. We're praying for Jocelyn, Adrian, Sarah, Kay, Terry, Alan, Beth, Nicholas, Martha, Lynn, Cameron, and Buck. And now in the chat column, we'll pray for those that you're listing. Francis, Terry, Kay, Connor, Jane, Heather, Susan, Carol, Jim, Peggy, Flo, Steve, Keith, Francis Hagen, Teresa, Liz and daughter, Lee, Kathy, Kel, John, Michelle, Mich Michael, Stephanie, Oline, Wright and Eileen, Carl, Anna and Francis. Are there any others that we want to mention? Mm -hmm. Now we have time for some Thanksgivings, and I would say Thanksgiving for the beautiful morning, for all of us being together, for having the great reader Diane and the music man Rob uh, today, which is a great blessing. Anybody else? Uh, Paul, we're thankful for you to be with us today. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be with everyone. Good morning. There is a minimum uh, contribution when we pass the bucket. dollars <laughs> to Cheryl. I didn't tell you about that. <laughs> well, well, Bill, Bill will get worth, the pledge card. Worth every penny. <laughs> uh, we're thankful for you. Thank you for leading us this morning so beautifully. And for we had a birthday. Lauriston is Jenny's granddaughter. And if I can may read that. 
O oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your little one-year-old servant, Lauriston, that she may begin another year. Grant that she may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen her trust in your goodness all the days of her life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 And we have one more prayer from Bill. Chris, Aaron, and Happy Clark. So, um, praying for all. At this time, we'll have a litany of thanksgiving on page 837. Our response is, We thank you, Lord. Page 837. And I'll read, let us give thanks to God, our Father, for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. We, we thank, thank, you. thank you, Lord. Really. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and families and our friends. We, we thank you, Lord. Lord. <clears throat> For minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve. We thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play. We thank, we thank you, Lord. Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For the communion of saints in times and places, in all times. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, Lord, with you, Lord, Lord, with you Lord, Father, Father, and the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, now, now and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Amen. Rob, do we have another song? The words of Jesus give us an assurance and a bidding. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Hymn 469, There's a Wideness in God's Mercy. There's a wideness in God's mercy like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in his justice which is more than liberty. There is welcome for the sinner and more graces for the good. There is mercy with the Savior. There is healing in his blood. There is no place where earth's sorrows are more felt than up in heaven. There is no place where earth's failings have such kindly judgment given. There is plentiful redemption in the blood that has been shed. There is joy for all the members in the sorrows of the head. For the love of God is broader than the measure of the mind. And the heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind. If our love were but more faithful, we should take him at his word, and our life would be thanksgiving for the goodness of the Lord. Thank you. Holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James and other parishes represented here. Although at this time we are apart from each other, 
We pray your Holy Spirit will unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy, and above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. 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 The grace, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Here endeth the service. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, Hugh. Thank you, Hugh. Thank you all. <laughs>